Good evening, everybody. This is Dr. Apoor Mehra. I represent Conceptual Orthopedics. And it's a great thing uh, for an orthopedic surgeon to record an interview of a birding orthopedic surgeon, a person who has just cleared her exams. And uh, before I go ahead, I'll request Dr. Shravya to please tell the name of her parents. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Shabia. Uh, my parents are uh, Dr. V. Kameshwar Rao uh, and uh, Anuradha. Right. My well, RTS, congratulations to your entire family and then you for this feat Thank of you, being an orthopedic surgeon. Thank you you know, uh, Shabia, when you, when, you, when, you, when you talk about orthopedics, yes, sir. right? And uh, one of the prime questions asked to me is, can females take up orthopedics? And my question, answer is, yes, of course, if you love the branch. But one day I wanted to interview somebody who's an orthopedic surgeon as a lady and what can be better on an occasion of a Ram Nomi taking an interview of a lady orthopedic surgeon. And uh, the first thing, where did you do your MBBS from? Uh, sir, I did my MBBS from Osmania Medical College, Hyderabad. There is something that uh, clicks with me uh, when Osmania comes into my mind. I've been taking lectures at that place for the last 12 years. And the students from that college do fantastic in every exam they appear. Be it uh, the state exam, now they're allowed in NEET as well. Be it the central institutes, they are just flooding the results. Fantastic. Why ortho, Shavya? Why ortho? Uh, sir, uh, this started uh, when I entered my clinic, sir, from second year of MBBS. Uh, so uh, from that time, I was very much like, at first I was very much interested in surgical branches rather than medical branches. So when I uh, come, finished my postings in orthopedics, uh, my uh, head of department there, uh, Dr. Kodandapani sir, uh, he encouraged me a lot to take up the branch. Like he, he used to encourage uh, us, like all the females to take up the branch. So from then it started. Uh, later on, due, uh, because, of the, because of the teachings and everything, uh, I found it more interesting, mainly during internship, sir. It started from second year, but during internship, I found it very much interesting. And there was one female orthopedic surgeon when I was an intern. Fantastic. And uh, where do you join your MS uh, for orthopedics? Sir, in the same medical college, Osmania Medical College, sir. There's a great surgical and clinical pool in this hospital, and I believe that must have enriched your knowledge like anything. You know, having an HOD encourage you to take orthopedics as a lady, having a fellow mm -hmm. senior orthopedic surgeon in the department definitely mm -hmm. paved the way for you. And yes, during the course, you must have realized it's not about just forces and push and pull and traction, yes, but sir. it's about the science of understanding. It's yes, an sir. art to be acquired. Yes, it sir. is the eyes which can feel and see, apart from the eyes and the surgical skills that a person needs. Yes, sir. And it's in our country that we have limited lady orthopedic surgeons. But yes, during my journey to Europe, there was a plethora of people who were doing this. And there was no discussion that a lady can take ortho or not. This question in Europe is not valid. And I'm so glad that a lady like you is going to encourage a lot of young people that yes, take your branch irrespective of the gender bias because there is no bias. Yes, so what special area in orthopedics you liked? Sir, uh, during my course, uh, I liked orthroscopy a lot, sir. Right. Uh, my my head of the department uh, was a orthroscopic specialist as well as joint replacements. So we used to get exposed to a lot of orthroscopic surgeries apart from the regular trauma, which uh, uh, every orthopedic surgeon usually does or, uh, trauma. So the hand-eye coordination, I used to like a lot in orthoscopy. Fantastic. And uh, coming to conceptual orthopedics, yes, reading sir. notes, the recorded videos or the live sessions. 
which aspect of the app you like the most uh, sir i like uh, both the recorded videos as well as interactive sessions sir because all the time because i used to attend the postings uh, i uh, i used to miss the interactive sessions but the recorded videos used to help me a lot during my preparation mainly for ms or the exam like uh, even if i go through the textbook i cannot find such a material from yeah. the textbook from one single textbook so this videos not only help me to write my theory exam but also during practical exams they help me a lot like sure, that man. kept uh, me uh, ahead of other sifed so when i performed my uh, practical exams so when i thought of uh, this platform i thought of creating something right um, with this line where i went to the legends the aim is not to live forever the aim is to create something that can and with conceptual orthopedics the way it's going i'm really happy that i am able to achieve 1% of what i dreamt of and uh, when when i when i initially thought of this name conceptual orthopedics with professor sudhir kumar sir and i he decided that this is the name we'll keep to our platform i wrote to uh, the great mr harsha bhogle and i i i uh, i i requested him for a line uh, for for the for the teachers here with a with a touch of class the the line that he uses in his commentary right and this this the congregate of teachers you know for every lecture that they deliver they will open multiple books references articles and i have seen if you have a, a question asked to them and they are not sure you know what they'll say i'll check and come back and the very next morning you will find them answering it and then came the tagline of the the app the learning never ends among the teachers uh, shavya who are the ones that you really liked sir first one is you <laughs> obviously not only for teaching but also motivating the students the way you motivate everything uh just like uh, when i first uh, uh, joined conceptual orthopedics uh, i know no one from there uh, only you it was you because i uh, uh joined your ortho doom dadaka classes for me to pg entrance right. when you came to hyderabad right so that was the time when uh, i thought okay uh, one day i should meet sir because uh, it was the time when auditorium was completely full and we and few of them were standing and listening for the entire two days uh so when i first uh, knew about our conceptual orthopedics it was because of you uh then gradually uh, uh i liked all the classes sir mainly sudhir kumar sirs vivek varma sirs because uh, the orthopedic oncology part it is very difficult to even uh, understand as well as to memorize that is much of a memorizing topic so usually we don't find it interesting to read uh, so vivek varma sir harpreet singh sir uh, ravindra dimri sirs interactive sessions that was Uh, marvelous uh, mainly nerve examinations nerve palsies uh, all the wrist examinations everything uh, yes sir right and, and uh, tuli sirs because uh, uh, we learn, we read uh, his books right the tuberculosis book so when we uh, like when we listen his classes it was marvelous it relates uh, so easily and the methodical way in which professor anil dhal teaches you examination yes sir the yes sir i think that is a treat for everybody yes. to learn from yes sir yes sir were you able to attend to these courses that we were doing the pediatric course or the the sports injury course yes sir sports injury shoulder i i i attended sir that's your area of interest so you had to be yes here, sir. Right? yes yeah. sir so shravya uh, listening to you with the brightness in your eyes with a love to orthopedics we as a part of the family of conceptual orthopedics which you are also a part right we congratulate you that your name should rise and shine Thank not you, only 
in your family, in your neighborhood, but in the entire city, in the entire nation, across the globe. And I'll, I'll tell you this interview is gonna go a long way to answer why we should break everything that exists in this world and create a space, a niche of our own, the way we want to live. As Steve Jobs says, your time is limited. Do what you dream, do what you love. And may you heal the pain that people are in. May a lot of patients, they recover through your hands. Ours is a branch which improves the quality of life. Yes. You are going to be a minimally invasive arthroscopic surgeon, I believe. I can see that. So your way is going to be a short stay in the hospital, but a quick return to the activities. God bless you. And God bless the family who gave birth to such a daughter. Thank you so much. Right. All the very best. And thank you very much for honoring us with this interview. Thank you so much, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Shrafia. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you.